Hey guys, Dan here from DanceTube.tv and today I've got a review on the Mozza Mini G 3-axis stabilizing gimbal for your GoPro and Yi action cameras. This gimbal is $219 on Amazon. I will have the link in the description below. But just reading the Amazon listing here, they said that it will work on a GoPro Hero 5, Hero 4, Hero 3 Plus, Hero 3, the Yi 4K action camera, and Yi action camera. So this is just a basic movement test with the Moza Mini G. And it seems to do a really good job. As I move fast, I notice that it does hold a point. It doesn't actually follow you extremely well, as you can see here. But then it seems to get back to that center point um, relatively well. Normally you're not really going to be using a gimbal for this kind of stuff. It's more so filming uh, subjects or objects in the background or whatever. Um, but just for a follow shot like this, it seems to be doing a decent job. I'm sure if I was to just move like this, you can see it does a really good job there. But then as I turn, it kind of trails a little bit. Um, so just be mindful that that motor there does trail slightly when you pan or yaw, depending on uh, what you refer to it as. But yeah, that's just a basic movement test there. The Mini G is a fantastic three axis gimbal, guys. It has a lot of control and a really nice touch to it. It isn't extremely heavy. The finish on it is really nice. And we have a quarter inch screw in the bottom here. So that means that we can screw it onto a tripod or some sort of pole or something and extend the range of this. You have an application as well to control all of the different modes. You have follow me modes. You have an operational mode, which you can do yourself. And then you can control everything through the application as well. Extremely portable, you can just chuck it in your bag. You have the application which is set up and it's free to download. So you can just download that and control everything. But the way that you see it right here, this is out of the box. You literally take it out, you put your GoPro or your Yi action camera into the holder there, you tighten her and then she's ready to go. You just power it on and now I have full control over this gimbal here. I think that these motors are finely tuned and everything seems to run really well. I have noticed a little bit of trail when I pan, but I have noticed that on other gimbals as well. Uh, that just maybe seems to be a common thing with that motor. Um, but when it comes to tilting or even just moving fast, if it's forward or backward, that seems to be fine. It's just when I'm yawing or turning, panning, whatever you refer to that as, um, that seems to trail a little bit. Also, sometimes I do notice the motors get caught, as you can see right there. It's got a little bit of a jiggle going. Now, I don't know why that is. It's only at certain points, but I have noticed that. Um, there you go, another one there. Just on different locations and I would assume that would be quite a common spot to be like if you're moving like this slightly and it's gonna move like that that's gonna ruin the footage so that's kind of an annoyance right there the battery itself the battery life fantastic so far from what I've tested there's the battery that is included in the pack doesn't take long to charge chuck her in and she's ready to go like I said the first time I got this product I just put my GoPro in turned it on and it was ready to go it was counteracting everything I didn't have to calibrate or do any of that crap but I'm sure you can improve the performance if you do calibrate through the application. Um, but overall, I was just really impressed. It's a standardized size for the Hero 4. Um, so I'm assuming it's just a really tightly uh, programmed little gimbal here. And it seems to just counteract everything. Um, I love the red and black. Red and black MKBHD, the massive YouTuber, really loves red and black. I think it's a aesthetically, it's a beautiful color combination. It doesn't hurt after extended periods of use. I know I've used gimbals before that are hefty and they're a little too hefty. This thing here is solid, but it's not hefty to the point that your arms are getting sore. It does a fantastic job and after long use, it still keeps powering through. Fantastic battery life. Um, and yeah, just overall, I really loved testing this little gimbal here. The Mini G, I love the name as well. Really responsive to the touch as well. You've got the little uh, thumbstick here, which allows you as the operator to manually control those motions. Uh, you can also just have it set up if you press. It will just set into a fixed mode, which is just basically the follow me mode. If you press again, you'll get another mode. But I really enjoy the manual control mode. That's just probably a little bit more enjoyable as someone that likes to, you know, learn a little bit more about film and whatnot. Charging is really easy. Uh, connecting it is easy. 
and it's a gimbal so all you really want is smooth footage. Like I said there are a few issues I've noticed, really small things with the motors, but besides that just in general use if you're using this just to get nice panning shots or tilting shots or if you want something that you can remotely control from an application, something that you can use to film your products or to film actors or whatever, this thing does a really amazing job and the Moza Mini G is highly recommended by me. For $219 you get quite a nice kit here and uh, overall I've just been really impressed with it guys so thank you so much for watching um, I will have my links in the description below to check out some of my other gimbal reviews if you would li like to check out what else I've done that looks amazing anyway thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate your support make sure to have a splendid day and peace out